Today on our 2007 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options available. The three wiring options we're going to be taking a look at, well first off with the Tecancha, that's going to be part number 118416. The middle one here is going to be our Hopkins and that's part number HM42635. And then the last one here is going to be our CART, part number C55124. All of our wiring harnesses are going to be great for towing a single axle trailer with two lights on the back and maybe some side marker lights. All of our wiring harnesses are very easy to install. They just plug in line behind our driver's side taillight. And they're all going to give us a four pole flat connection at the rear of our Jeep. All of our wiring harnesses are going to be about five feet long, but our Hopkins comes pre-taped to better protect our wiring. Each comes with a dust cover to protect our four pole end. On the Tecancha, the dust cover is permanently attached so you can't lose it. The Hopkins harness is grounded within our wiring. Both the Tecancha and the Kurt will have to be grounded to the body of your Jeep with the included self-tapping screw. All of our wiring harnesses include zip ties to secure our wiring. You're going to get more with the Kurt than the other two. When making electrical connections, it's a good idea to use electric grease. Hopkins includes some, the other two don't. In summary, if I had to choose one, I would go with the Hopkins because it comes with the dielectric grease, it's grounded within the harness, and it's already wrapped to protect our wiring. And that's going to complete our look at the best wiring options available on our Jeep Wrangler. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.